Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Think Innovate Fabricate. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Robo Craze. Today we are building a practical and smart RFID door lock using ESP32. This is a fantastic project that teaches you the basics of access control and lets you build your own secure locking system. For this project, we will be using an ESP32, the powerful brain of our security system, an MFRC522 RFID reader to scan our access cards, an SG90 micro servo and a small buzzer for an audible access denied alarm. Let's get everything wired up. It might look like a few connections, but it's straightforward. First, the RFID reader to the ESP32. SDA connects to GPIO 21, SCK to GPIO 18, MOSI to GPIO 23, MISO to GPIO 19, Reset goes to GPIO 22 and of course VCC to 3v3 and ground to ground. Next the servo motor. The signal wire connects to GPIO 13, VCC to 5 volt or V in and ground to ground. Finally the buzzer. The positive pin goes to GPIO 15 and the negative pin to ground. And that's all the wiring is done. Now let's bring it to life with the code. You will need the MFRC522 and ESP32 servo libraries, which you can easily install from the library manager. Here is the complete sketch. For the libraries and pin definitions, first we'll include our libraries and define all the GPIO pins we are using. Then comes the authorized UID. This is the most important part. This array holds the unique ID of the card that's allowed to open the lock. We'll show you how to find your card's ID in a moment. In the void setup, here we initialize everything, the serial monitor, the RFID reader and the servo, setting it to the locked position. In the void loop, this is where the magic happens. The code waits for a card to be scanned. It then compares the scanned ID to the authorized UID. If they match, it prints access granted and turns the servo to unlock. After 5 seconds, it automatically relocks. If they don't match, it prints access denied and sounds a buzzer for 3 seconds. Alright, let's see it in action. Before you can use it, you need to find your card's UID. Just upload the code and open the serial monitor. When you scan your card, the UID will be printed right here. Then just copy those values into the authorized UID array and re-upload. Now watch this, I'll scan the authorized card. Access granted and the lock opens. It'll stay open for 5 seconds before locking itself. Now let's try an unauthorized card. Access denied. The buzzer immediately lets us know it's the wrong card. And that's our ESP32 Smart RFID Door Lock, a simple yet effective project that teaches you about security, RFID technology and motor control. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more DIY electronics project. Thanks for watching. See you in the next build.